Hey everyone. And Spider-Man said it pretty well. Hello everyone. It's Darth Golden Freddy or Hellseeker with my third Spider-Man Far From Home Molten Man Wave review. We have Spider-Man Stealth Suit or Night Monkey here. And uh, let's check out the package. Right, we have this picture of Night Monkey and uh, it kind of looks cool, I guess. Like a... Uh, here. So, yeah. Packaging that I showed with both other Back figures. With a nice cool picture of Night Monkey. And here is the read-up in all these languages. I don't care if you want to read them or not. The other figures in this set. I have explained these in the other videos, but if you don't want me to, uh, if you want to, don't want to go do another one, basically, each part is numbered on the back of the package. That'll correspond with each figure. So, for example, Night Monkey part number two is the left arm. Anyway, here's the whole set. Hopefully, you want to get them all if you want to get that. So, anyway. So here is our Night Monkey outside of the packaging. And this is everything he includes. So, you have the Build-A-Figure piece. That's brushed. Oh, oh my god, this looks like a turd. Got a uh, beam there. Both flipping hands and the flipped up visor. So here's the figure. He does have some pretty nice articulation. Uh, Elbow bends, bends at the knee, ankle rockers, nice head sculpt. Now let's see what the other head sculpt was a tight fit, but I finally got it on. Here's him with the flipping hands and the alternate head sculpt. Let's see if I can get the camera uh, focus. Come on, focus. I do like it. Careful with the visor though. Well, that's what I tried to do when I put it back in the package, but yeah, it's a nice looking figure. So let's get to comparison. My other video, I had this guy right next to all the other MCU Spider-Mans other than Iron Spider. I um, decided to just get this guy out and uh, just show them next to each other. So yeah, same height basically. I think this guy's a little shorter, but monkey yeah. next to Molten Man and Mysterio. Here is the figure, and honestly, my thoughts are pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty well for the most part. The articulation is definitely subpar, and I think the detail is definitely the best they could probably do with a $20 figure. So, yeah. So, therefore, I'm going to give this figure like an 8 or a 9 or a 10. So, probably like 8.5 or something like that. And here are some promo shots.